Hi, it's Adi Alami again, and I am going to show you how to create character animation in 3D very, very simple way. To do so, what we're going to use is a program called Sculptress, which is the baby brother of ZBrush. It's a very, very easy to use software. So as you can see, you start with a sphere and you can control it very, very easily by just clicking outside of the sphere and move it around and that will rotate it around your object. Also, you can use your mouse wheel to just zoom in and out to your character. If you hold Alt and click and move your mouse around, you would be able to pan around your object. All right, uh, to start with this software, what I would um, personally use is mostly Move tool and the Inflate tool. So with Inflate, it's very, very easy, and uh, you can just click anywhere you want, and you can simply um, inflate your object. And you can see that it is on symmetry mode, which means that whatever you do on the left, it will happen on the right, and vice versa. Another cool thing about this software is the shortcut for the brush size is pretty much the same as in Photoshop, which means that open curly bracket and close curly bracket will increase or decrease the size of your object. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put it on time lapse so you wouldn't just have to wait around and see how I'm making this character. I'm not a uh, character modeler, so I hope that you forgive me if the character looks a little bit funky. After that, I'm just going to show you how to rig the character that we just made in this program in a website that Adobe um, has, and we can just go there and rig this character. All right, so the character is done, and I'm just going to save it. Um, what you can do is you can change your, the material of your object to the ones that they already are there. There are ways that you can just create your own material as well, which is uh, a long story. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to export this character as an OBJ file, so I would be able to use it in other programs. I'm just going to go to this website called uh, mixamo.com, which is a website um, which is owned by Adobe, or I don't know, sponsored by Adobe. And uh, it's a very, very cool website. So what you can do is in this program, you can go and uh, click on Auto Rig, and you can just, you can see that there's like some tutorials there, which is very, very straightforward and very easy to learn. You find your character and you upload it to the website and it will open here in this um, window called the Auto Rigger. And all you need to do is just um, put these markers where you need to put them on your character and after you set up the joints you can click on next and the program will rotate your object and will do the magic for you. When the website is finished with your object what you're gonna see is your object is gonna stand there in the middle and start looking around you can see the feet, the little movement in the fingers as well as you can uh, see that the character is moving around and it's pretty good um, for something that is not time consuming at all because for those who have done some 3D character animation they know that character rigging is one of the most time consuming parts in character animation so um, this is actually quite magical in a way because it does that for you pretty much within like a minute or two then you can click on find animation and it will give you a very long list of um, motion captured animations after that what you can do is uh, you can choose a group of animation Make sure after that you just click on Add to My Assets, and your you will find your animation in your assets, which is on top of your screen on the left hand side. Then click on uh, Download Queue, and you have the options here, which is the frame rates that you can choose, or you can choose whether you use keyframe reductions or if you want to skin or not or um, the format which I personally only use the FBX files and then you can import these files into your um, Maya or 3D Studio Max and from there you would be able to export an OBJ sequence for uh, using in Video Copilot Element 3D or even directly 
exported from those programs and render them in those programs for whatever reason you're doing this. And um, that's about it, really. So thanks for watching, and if you found this video a little bit helpful, please like it, and if you even share it, I would be more grateful. And see you next time.